Yo, what's up, guys? It's Super Electro here, and welcome to another Pokemon Showdown Pokemon Polls Daily League. I don't know what this is called, but anyways, it's basically like a GBA style league, and um, you know, there's not much to say. I mean, it's like a tournament. It's basically a GBA style tournament, so that's basically what we're gonna be doing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, and how I decided my team. So first off. As you can tell, week one, that is week one, it's Super Electivirus, which is obviously us, versus New England, and New England is going to be the New England Neuverns over here. So we've got Gabe, we're reversing Gabe in the first episode, I guess, first week, first week. Uh, sorry, this is completely unscripted, so it probably sounds like trash, but I'm gonna do a lot of editing. As you can tell, he's got a pretty decent team uh, with Volcarona, and I'm not going to go into the whole like rules. If you guys want to see the rules, there will be a link in the description below to the community, and you can just find the rules there. But there's a certain limit to how many OU mons versus PU mons or whatever you can have. So I believe it's one or two OU mons. So most of the mons that I drafted are pretty good, but they're mostly I drafted them because they are my favorites, not because they are you know not because of synergy reasons or whatever. We are going to have Mega Venusaur as our Mega versus his Mega Absol. So. Basically, how I decided this team over here, this is going to be my team. When I was drafting, the what I wanted to do was use Electivire. My favorite Mega is Venusaur. The gamer JD can agree with me on that. If you guys know, you guys, he also did a GBA style league a little bit a while ago, but it's been a while. But I just love Mega Venusaur, so definitely went for Mega Venusaur there. I also had to use Electivire because, really, why wouldn't you? I don't understand. But in order for Electivire to be really good, um, you usually need to have a Galvantula or other sticky web setter, so I just went with Galvantula in this case. And that's how I determined those three. Rampardos is my favorite from that one team that I made. I don't know if you guys remember it, but it had a uh, Aegis Slash, Keldeo, Dragonite, Rampardos, and I uh, can't remember the other ones, maybe Talonflame, I can't remember. Um, I have it in my showdown somewhere here, but I love Rampardos from that, so you, you know, I basically just use it as a suicide set. Uh, you bring it in, uh, it's got a Focus Sash, and you can just basically one it with like a Head Smasher. Superpower, Earthquake, whatever. Talonflame was my other choice because I just love Talonflame because it's one of those OU threats and I had one more OU Pokemon that I could use, so I went with Talonflame. Um, also, shoutouts to Peyton, who is the owner of this community, because he drafted for me because I was out on vacation. Actually, no, I was preparing for vacation at that time and I just couldn't draft, so he just helped me draft. And I also went with Darmanitan because, well, basically these four were the ones that I had to have, and then Darmanitan was my UU U U pick uh, to fill out UU because Darmanitan just hits super hard. If you guys saw my top five fire types, Darmanitan is great. So we got Talonflame and Darmanitan that are both on that list. I also love Chandelure, and I just decided to go for Chandelure there because I needed some special mons. So we got Venusaur, um, and we got Galvantula, but other than that, everything else is physical. So for the UU, I decided to go for Chandelure. I mean, it was just higher on my list of picks. So Hitmonlee for the NU, I believe, or RU, can't remember, it might have been RU. So Hitmonlee is RU, so that was my RU pick because I actually didn't register this, but I needed a spinner. So it was really, really, really lucky that I actually got Hitmonlee because I completely forgot about spinning. Because we do have Talonflame, Darmantan, Chandelure, and later on, and Galvantula, and also later on we get to get Axelgore and Vivalon. So my team is super Stealth Rock weak. That's literally how you beat my team. Like, just set up Stealth Rocks, I'm dead. So I'm very, very lucky that I got Hitmonlee, but it was because I love Hitmonlee's set with Endure and Lychee Berry, because it does get unburdened, and I just love that set, which is why I drafted it. Um, Kofagragus was kind of filler, but I did need a wall, which was good. Um, and I just love Kofagragus, just because it's pretty good at walling. Um, its recovery is kind of iffy, but that's all right. It can take a couple hits, and Mummy is actually very useful as well. Excel Gore is because I didn't really care for anything in that tier, pretty much. So that was just like a random pick, and I figured Final Gamut, you know, I'll take it. Vivalon, I just love Vivalon. Vivalon's like one of my favorite mods, just because he's got Quiver Dance plus Sleep Powder, and it's got Compoundized combined with Hurricane and Bug Buzz, and it just tears down teams. I actually use it, it's kind of funny. I uh, used it in X and Y on the Battle Mason, and I, and I cleared 50 or something with it, which is pretty nice. Now, as for how I actually decided to use on this team, I wanted to use my Electivire because this is the first battle, so I decided to go with that Galvantula Electivire combination. So it's gonna go with Focus Sash, you know, it's a standard set. Um, and I went with Energy Ball over Hidden Power Ice because if you look at his team, we've got Nidoking, which uh, will die from Hidden Power Ice, uh, and we do have Claydol, which will die from Hidden Power Ice. 
uh, Rotom Moe and Latios and Driftblum. But Driftblum is taken out by Thunder. Rotom Moe is taken out by Bug Buzz. Claydol is also taken out by Bug Buzz. If you go with Energy Ball, it also can hit Lantern, which uh, is very helpful. So I decided to go with Energy Ball instead of Hidden Power Ice. Plus it has that higher base power. It probably would have been better to actually go for Hidden Power Ice because Needle King is a huge threat. But I went with Energy Ball, I don't know. Can't remember why. So Galvantula does put in a ton of work on his team and it defeats a lot of his members. So that's pretty nice. Of course, standard stuff here. There's not nothing really to talk about here. Super Electivire, because I have that Galvantula, uh, I did not need to run a Choice Scarf set because pretty much everything gets slowed down by Sticky Web. So if I could get Sticky Web on, Electivire can basically do huge damage. But the reason why I had to have Sticky Web was because of Needle King, because Needle King puts in a ton of work on my team. And if it just is slowed down, then a lot of my members can actually take care of him very easily. Most notably Electivire. So I went with the Air Balloon because that way I could take a Earth Power on the switch in and then destroy him with an Earthquake or Ice Punch after Sticky Web. And that's basically my, my Needle King counter. Of course you go with Motor Drive because he does not really have Pokemon that put me to sleep. And Motor Drive could be helpful for his U-Turn, uh, sorry not U-Turn, Volt Switch, Land Turn. Along with Volt Switch, Jolteon, which could be very good. And, uh, I completely forgot to mention this, Volt Switch Rotom Mo. So that's very helpful to run Motor Drive, of course, standard, uh, EVs, and I went with Adamant because uh, that's assuming Sticky Web. Unfortunately, because of Mega Apple, it's very difficult to set Sticky Web, and Clado can spin it out very quickly. So, I had to use my Talon Flame because if he comes in on a Mega Absol, he's gonna have to switch because I have U-Turn, and I could also destroy him with Brave Bird or Flare Blitz. So I go for the U-Turn, and he has to switch out, and I can set up Sticky Web by U-Turning into Galvantula, setting up the Sticky Web while maintaining my Focus Sash. So that was my whole Gal uh, Talon Flame thing. And I needed Brave Bird and Flare Blitz because it just does so much damage. Brave Bird takes out Volcarona, and Flare Blitz takes out Rotom Mo. And Brave Bird just does a huge chunk of damage to Nino King, Absol, Sylveon. And I did not really want to run Life Orb because I have a U-turn. I, I just decided I'm using U-turn, so I might as well just go for a choice set because most U-turn sets are choice banded. And I, I didn't really have any other coverage moves because of choice ban, so I could either go with Tailwind or Roost for the last slot. So I figured, well, I don't really need Tailwind because I'm going to hopefully be using Sticky Web. I just figured Tom would be helpful to help with Stealth Rocks in case that Clado wanted to set up Stealth Rocks. If he puts in Clado first, I could taunt him and then you turn out of there, which would be very helpful. And I figured that was better than Roost. So I just went with Max Attack, Max Speed. Although I probably could have run some speed calculations, but I just didn't feel like it, and this is fine. Moving on to Rampardos. This is again the set that I told you about. Hit Smash, Superpower, and Earthquake. Earthquake will take out Jolteon, Lantern, and it will do a lot of damage to anything else. And because this is a Focus Sash, I can actually switch between moves depending on what I want to do. Uh, but most of the time, I just get hit and I get one attack. So that's basically how Rampardos works. Named it Hammerhead because it just hits super hard. It's got Head Smash, which basically destroys everything. It can 2 hit KO Sylveon. It goes 1 hit KO Volcarona. Uh, it does so, so much damage to Absol, Jolteon. Uh, it can, I believe it 2 hit KO's Lantern, but Scald can be a problem. I believe it 1 hit KO's or 2 hit KO's Rotom Mo. It does huge damage to Latios and destroys Driftbloom and Ambipom. Head Smash is a huge, huge, powerful move. For the last lot, I usually run Fire Punch, but Fire Punch would not really have helped because for Rotom Mo, uh, Head Smash just does more because it's got Stab and higher base power. So I decided to go with Crunch because he does have a couple of Psychic types, which could be helpful because Head Smash does not do that much to Claydol. So if I go with Crunch, then I could do huge damage, especially if he goes in on a Switch. And it also happens to take out Latios as well. I would have gone with Ice Punch, except that he doesn't get Ice Punch, so... Ice Punch would have been much more better than Crunch, but it just wasn't available. For this, it's completely bulky. You're not trying to outspeed anything. You just take a hit and you destroy the other team. And if you could take a couple hits, you know, on a resist move, that might be nice, which is why you go max HP. But other than that, there's not much to say. You go with um, 248 HP in case there are Stealth Rocks on the field. But that doesn't really help that much because you don't want Stealth Rocks on the field because Stealth Rocks get through to your Focus Sash, so that's not good either. Moving on to my Mega, I needed something to counter that Sylveon because I didn't really have much that could take the Sylveon except for that. It also takes Rotom Mo very well and Lantern very well, though Burn can be a problem. That's why I decided to go with the Leech Seed set because 
Leech Seed will help negate the burn if I do get burned and I can recover some HP. I did not really need Hidden Power Fire against any of his mons except Rotom Mo, but Sludge Bomb does do more against Rotom Mo. In addition, I have Giga Drain and Sludge Bomb, so those are just stab moves and again Sludge Bomb takes care of Sylveon and uh, Rotom Mo as well. And Giga Drain does help against Claydol, I believe it's a 2 KO, although Leftovers does make it a little shady, I can't remember. It's basically supposed to be a switch in to take hits and then switch out again into something else. The reason why I, the reason why I went for Overgrow is because he doesn't really use fire on his team, like Sun I mean. The only Sun potential user would be Volcarona and Volcarona and nobody uses that, so in terms of like a, a sunny day set. So I just went with Overgrow because I figured, well, if I get hit really badly on the switch in, I might be able to use a Giga Drain with Overgrow and uh, heal a ton of HP back. Synthesis, of course, is a is you have to have it for a Leech Seed set. I decided to go with Synthesis because I figured I would be taking a lot of hits anyways as a switch in. And Protect is mostly only if I'm going to use Leech Seed, and it might be helpful just to have uh, Synthesis as a backup. These IVs, I believe, are from Smogon because I don't usually use Leech Seed Venusaur, so. That was something different. I, I, I'm not very good with Leech Seeders, so that was just something else. And I also needed to have another defensive mon, I figured, since I had most of his team checked or countered with these uh, with these uh, five mons already. So I decided I'm going to have a little bit more bulk on my team because I actually love using bulky offense, so that's my favorite. Um, so Venusaur is great, but I wanted, in case Venusaur went down, I decided to bring Cofagrigus also because I didn't really need any of my other mons, but Cofagrigus can be pretty helpful in taking hits, and especially with Mummy. I went for leftovers and because that's pretty much standard. Um, also, the EVs are pretty much standard. I just needed, you know, a lot of special defense and uh, defense, so I just went with that. Will o Wisp is good for all the physical attackers, which is nice. Shadow Ball Stab and a Pain Split is my only way of healing. And I just had three slots and I didn't really need any other moves. So I went, it was between Toxic or Destiny Bond, and I decided, well, healing isn't very good for me, so I'm gonna go with Destiny Bond because I might be able to just use it and force them to either switch or use a healing move or status move and that just could be nice in case I just needed to sacrifice something or if I needed Cofagrigus just to take something out because it's not that great offensively. Look at that 50 base attack. But until next time guys, I'm super excited for this battle. It's already happened, but I'm gonna be recording it and you guys will see it as well. And the links will be down below for the Pokemon Polls Daily League if you guys wanna join that or anything. And it's pretty cool all around. So this, I'm pretty excited for my first GBA leak. And that's it for this time. See you guys later.